in Northern Ireland. It wasn't all about the, you know, about the, the horror stories. That's not to diminish any of that. I mean, my family certainly knew what it's like to suffer. We had a child. It's those little glimpses of brightness and human kindness that actually uh, kept us going. Some relatively small things, but they were remarkable in terms of just the compassion. I can remember I mean, when your child is six years old going to primary school, uh, and her P2 teacher said to me, Miss McBride, are you having trouble with Zoe's hair? I actually was having trouble with her hair. Plaits and plaids and pigtails, and I could never get it. So then she said to me, look, Mr McBride, if you were to send Zoe to school 10 minutes earlier, uh, with a bubble and a hairbrush in her school bag, I'll do her hair for her. I just thought it was a, it was a beautiful gesture. It, it meant so much at the time. Uh, the bomb exploded prematurely and the bomber sustained very serious arm, leg and face injuries. He survived that night and he survived because of the kindness of a woman that he came to kill. It was my mother actually had put a pillow under his uh, head and told me to phone an ambulance. And when I remember that night, frightened young fella looking up at me saying, don't kill me. And if I ever saw a victim in my life, he was. I don't want to be a bitter, twisted wreck of a human being. Um, and I think I owe my mother that. She was an ordinary woman in extraordinary times. I think I owe her legacy. That some decency comes out of all this. Uh, and the task now is people, they've got to start giving something to this generation that's coming behind. I heard people screaming and on and on to me, two cars behind, there was a doctor. The doctor was on to me straight away. And he was working at me because of, I must have been passing out. The ambulance came. The doctor came the whole way with me, took me into the hospital and straight to the theatre. But after a year, when I was getting out, I asked Luke, could I get the name of the doctor and where he works? And unfortunately, they wouldn't give me it. It's 32 years coming now, five years ago. I had taken bad pains in my hands and my thumbs. The GP says to me, look, I'm going to have to see you to send you to see a specialist. I was sitting in the, the, the hospital. In come the doctor. He says, look, listen, I'm the doctor on the day of your bomb that was two cars behind you. I couldn't believe it. Tied the whole story of what happened to me together. You meet the person who did save your life.